Hello, I'm Charlotte Collins and this is The Sheer Luck Show. Coming up today is lots of fashion inspo, jewellery styling tips and a peek behind the scenes of a very special Sheer Luck shoot. But first, I'm joined by Laura, friend of the show, Anna and newbie to the sofa. Holly, this says newbie, Hi. but actually, I was gonna die say, hard, this hardcore <laughs> fans <laughs> will know that you were on our first ever Sheer Luck I show. I was, back in the day. Mm. Yeah, so it's so nice to come, at, come back actually. So newbie slash... I feel like a newbie though. It feels like so long ago. It, it was quite a long time ago. Exactly. Please don't go back and look at that first ever show. <laughs> don't do no. that. Um, <laughs> we're going to talk today. Happy November 1st, everybody. I'm really hoping that someone's going to be playing some jingle bells in the background right now. There's going to be snow falling. Oh my God, it's here. I've it's just here. been having a meeting and jingle yeah. bells <laughs> playing it's pretty happening. loudly. No it's way, you guys. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you saw uh, Mariah Carey's various TikToks over the last few oh days. Oh my God. Um, but she's been doing these kind of skits about like not being ready, not being ready. And I was like, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I'm not ready. Are you not ready? I was going to say, so how do you feel? Christmas really does kind of kick off as of today. How do you feel about that? Yeah, Laura? I feel a bit stressed out. Mm -hmm. I was listening to the news this morning. They said it's like 50 something days Day, or like yeah. six Saturdays or something crazy like That's that. Ah, yeah. yeah, I feel a bit stressed out about it. Anna, how far in advance do you start prepping for Christmas? Like, are you thinking about Christmas shopping now? I think about it, but I'm like the worst planner. So I'm like the day before I'm rushing around the shops and getting people presents, usually my husband. He's like the last person I buy <laughs> for. So yeah, I it just stresses me out. I feel like it gives me a bit of anxiety, yeah. the whole countdown. There's so much to do, Yeah, isn't too there? much to do, honestly. Holly, are you I'm a prepper? Say, I am not. Uh, yes and no. I like to prep and write lists. I'm an avid list maker, mm -hmm. but in actually doing things, yeah. I'll leave it quite last minute. Plus, I've only just finished Halloween. Mm -hmm. I've got yeah. Halloween decorations yeah. off my house. And Halloween is oh. getting big as well. Oh my well. god, it's massive. Like it's down very, and the next thing yeah. goes. I agree, very. All this American it's influence has yeah. come over here. You guys obviously all have children, so does that add extra pressure to Christmas or does that almost 100%. make it better and nicer? No, no. 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> More stressful. More stressful. I feel like I've got kids upon kids upon kids because mm. it's my kids nieces nephews totally. but i've got loads so yeah, yeah a bit more pressure but they're the fun side of it i yeah. think like the adults is like it gets more stressful because you're trying to work out what should i get everybody but kids it's fine okay yeah. so we should say we're, we're going to put it out there we're going to say the christmas gift guide goes live tomorrow and laura that means it has to go live tomorrow now we've said <laughs> it it's out there um, <laughs> it will so it's amazing i mean it's really amazing this year uh, well done to our Fabulous team who've worked so yeah, hard on it. Brilliant. Um, what gifts, are there gifts that you go to every single year that you're like, you know what, that's an easy one, tick, check, done. I can get that for them. Holly? Yeah, I have like a little like black book of like things that I will just reuse for different people in the family and I have a really good one. For men, there is a hat brand called Varsity, which I once discovered, they had a pop-up in the south of France and I was there, random. But um, they have like cashmere hats, linen hats. And for men, I've never bought one for a man that hasn't absolutely adored it because it's like a very nice kind of premium hat and nice. they have great shapes. They make men look really good. And I feel what like style actually, of hat? Right, like, oh, yeah, different style, caps. like hats, like a cap. Oh, like a cap. Yeah, oh, nice. really nice ones. But like I said, like cashmere ones, shooty ones, like linen ones. They do some for the summer, some for winter. Ooh, and their like packaging's really nice. Yeah. It's just Ooh, a great gift. You can't go wrong. Men love hats. No, yeah, Anna. I love that. I'm guilty that aftershave, perfume, I'm like, that's a go-to. Yeah. If I can't think of anything, I'm like, oh gosh, let me just pick something easy. That's kind of my go-to, yeah. But I feel like people get very stressed, and we do all get very stressed, yeah. but, but really like a candle or a perfume, you can't really. You can't yeah. Really. yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've, I've been buying these Heather Evelyn candles, have you seen them? Oh, yeah. Where they're like handwritten on the candles. I actually oh, ordered. you mean, the, sorry, the long candles. The long yes. candles. Mm. And yeah, I ordered, I've got like some going to people's houses for Christmas drinks and so mm. I never want to take wine to that yeah. situation. So yeah, I bought a whole That's load really of these sweet. candles oh, where it says sweet. like, I love Christmas that. wishes and festive kisses or something. Oh, that's, that's so sweet. cute. Yeah, yeah. I've never yeah. That's a too. good one. Nice that is good. That is a lovely gift. Mm. All right, well, for more lovely gifts, check out the Christmas, Sheila's Christmas gift, guys. Um, now, we thought it was time for a bit of a fashion update. So last week, Polly and I sat down to look at everything inspiring us right now. Welcome back to Style Watch with me and Polly, where we run through our favourite outfits, trends, products of the week. Yeah. Yeah. Should we get started? <laughs> um, we're going to talk about our best dressed celeb of the week. Mm -hmm. um, we've both picked from the same event. Yeah, the Academy Museum Gala. I'm going to assume called. that's like the Oscar Museum. Yeah, I'm going to say so. Anyway, too. there are a lot of celebs there, yeah. looking fabulous. Who have you picked? So I picked Olivia Wilde in Alexander Vautier Couture. Yeah. And it was a floor length sequin dress with a pink feather trim around the, the ankle. Mm. But like, I think the icing on the cake for me was the fact you could see her nips. Yeah. Like, I know that sounds weird, but I think it would be like 
like verging on predictable if you couldn't see yeah, them. I think I it's like that. sexy. Yeah, it's, um, it was because it, it's like really conservative and then yeah. just like pow, sexy. Yeah, mm. definitely. I also love that she just went for like a really natural, chill mm. beauty look with this like mega yeah. dress. Yeah, I'd love to wear that dress. Man. Yeah, me too. How can I get my hands on that? Yes, send mm. it our way. Yeah. Mine is Jodie Turner Smith Amazing. at the same event. I mean, she, we were just also saying before this that she kills it yeah, at every does. single red carpet. And she was, of course, wearing Gucci. She works for the brand a lot. I mean, I mean, th no wonder I like it because it's basically a dressing gown. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I just love it. Feathers, maybe feathers are, you know, one to watch yeah, for yeah. evening wear. No, I'm definitely up for some feathers this yeah. party season. This party well, season, yeah. agreed. All right, what about most stylish Instagram? So mine was one of our faves, Nunu Nail. I'm probably yes. pronouncing that, like butchering it. Um, but she's wearing what I'm pretty sure is an entirely full is a bummer on look, but she's got like a big blazer on, but underneath when she when you scroll through the, the carousel, she's wearing these leather dungarees, which when I went to Paris last week, um, I saw on a mannequin and I just thought, I never knew I needed leather dungarees so in my life, cool. but I think I do. I and she sort of convinced me, probably eye watering the expensive, I just mm. damn look, to be honest. I'm sure there'll be a high street version though. I feel like leather, yeah. leather makes anything look a bit cooler. So if mm. you find dungarees a bit twee, yeah. then by going leather, it's automatically I think this is my harder. issue. Like I, everyone else I know, you wear dungarees really well, but every time I put them on, I'm just like, um, I'm just not sure they feel Thank like you, yeah. right on me, but maybe I could, I could leather. try leather. I like wearing mine, but like to the farmer's market. I like, yeah, it's nice. like cosplaying like a kind of country mom. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. yeah. Very nice. Um, um, okay. okay, what was yours? So mine is, her name is Felicia Waden. I've never heard of her before, but really like, really like her she now. She just popped up on my Discover yeah. feed, so I can't claim to know much about her. Okay. But this outfit, she was wearing this really amazing tonal camel nice. look with this gold Bottega, oh, which, amazing. I mean, I'm obsessed with that mini Joji bag anyway. Yeah. It's I think you so... need to get it. You've been talking about it for so yeah. long. Yeah, all right, if you're gonna lend me the cash. <laughs> sure, I'll get it. Um, sure. But the gold, I haven't seen the gold. So and, cool. You know, I think we talked a lot about metallics. We ran a great metallics um, yeah. roundup on Sherlock's last week. And it's so, it's such a cool way to make anything look that bit yeah. cooler. You've got a great pair of metallic leather trousers I or do. faux leather, I'm not sure. <laughs> they're really sweaty, they are definitely leather, yeah. But they're amazing. And like, I really love how you wear them casually because Thanks. I guess like you might just think, oh, they're definitely like an evening oh, thing, but just like that with like a sweatshirt yeah. or something. It automatically feels a bit cooler. And that's why I love that she wore it with these mm. kind of daytime or yeah. autumnal textures. Fashion follow of the week, who are you following? Uh, so I followed a girl called Courtney Cruz, mm. who I just think is a really fun follow. Like we talk about this quite a lot, don't we, with our like, fashion follows, just people who like to inspire mm. you, maybe not necessarily in a way that you would replicate for mm. yourself, but she wears a lot of color. And um, there's a particular look actually where she's got this kind of big gray sweatshirt uh, jumper on mm. or something with a mini skirt and those Mimi belly mm. flats. Oh my gosh. She like, made me want to, she makes me want to get my legs out, which like not yeah. many people do. Yeah. yeah it's and such a cool look. She looks mega with it. Um, and I really want those Mimi flats now. And actually again, getting your legs out, feels like my default for that is assuming it's kind of smart. So I mm. love that she's made it really chill in daytime. Yeah, definitely. Really um, but actually that was probably one of her more sort of muted mm. color palette looks. And most of the time it's quite, you know, colorful Quite and fun. joyous, which I really like. Lovely. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of colorful and joyous, I don't know if you had a little stalk. I said my did. one. So this yes. is Carla Rockmore. <laughs> so you have to bear with me. So I hadn't heard of Carla. She's actually very big on TikTok. Ah, and okay. she did a, Trini does her, closet confessions on Instagram yeah. and she they they obviously have connected through social media and they did a kind of dual um closet confessions right. where they kind of you know they were like on zoom but it's kind of split screen and they talk about their favorite piece in their wardrobe or like things Fun. that they both have so this lady Carla has I mean one of the most incredible collections of clothes I mean she's obviously you know really spent years curating this incredible wardrobe yeah. it is I mean it's it's batshit like it's crazy <laughs> but like in the best possible way I, I wouldn't wear everything that she posts um but it's so joyous and colorful mm. and if you like Trini yeah she's your girl and those are some of the best like wardrobe tours aren't they that are 100%. like absolutely mental yes um but like fun to have a real like, nosy, isn't and it? people who are like oh I just bought this Prada you know jacket in four colors because I loved it so much yeah. like doesn't mean you're going to do it yeah it's so fun to watch yeah so she's, fun. she's worth following oh I'm having a nice um talk. let's talk shopping now what mm. is your designer piece of the week so it's a vintage Chanel backpack and so I know a lot of people love backpacks but I do have issues with I them do like mm -hmm. I just don't think there are many cool ones out there I completely appreciate they serve a purpose mm -hmm. like if you're a, you know busy on the go yeah. you need hands free you need to put your laptops on it basically I get asked a lot like where can I find a stylish backpack I feel like this fills that gap. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, I just saw it on the Hostas Instagram. She had some 
cool slung over mm. the shoulder. It looks quite roomy, mm. which is nice. Um, so if you do want a practical backpack yeah. that's also chic, then I think this is it. And I do, at the moment, I'm really into like more vintage Chanel. I think some of the more modern bags mm. are like not my favorite. Mm -hmm. So, well, Pitches also, I mean, the prices they're charging for modern, oh, yeah. you know, for, for newer pieces, mm. you can probably get more of a bargain. Astronomical, and yeah, this is obviously still not, you know, cheap. I was going to say, say with Chanel, isn't it? It's really? Chanel, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. The Prada ones, I would say, they're like nylon ones, yeah. I do also think are quite cool. Very um, Meredith Blake in the parent trap. Yeah, totally. It's very good <laughs> um, oh, This is amazing. This is what I'm on again. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, but this... Shield. I love a shearling coat. There are some amazing ones out yeah. there. Um, there's a ray one on matches, which is mm. so incredible. But actually, this, I mean, I love a bit of colour. And I think I having do. a coloured coat is such a good way to inject a bit of something yeah. into your autumn wardrobe. Because you can just, you know, you could wear like a cream jumper and totally. some jeans or whatever with this this piece. And it just makes everything look more exciting. I think yeah. it's so good, isn't it? Yeah. Do you have like a good shearling jacket? I have. I have a navy shear, but like a fluffy shearling. Oh, I, I don't have, one. Yeah, yeah, not an aviator style mm. one like this. So I feel like that one's very, I like, I know, I feel like very I you. Know. That or the potato back. I'm getting neither. <laughs> but anyway, I love this. I love this jacket. Um, what about high street piece of the week? Uh, so mine is a top from another stories, mm. which is very sheer. Besides two circular things, covering... you've got like a boob thing going on at the moment. Really have, yeah. Do you think it's like some kind of weird, like weird subconscious fixation? Mm. Um, but yeah, I just think it's really cool and very sexy. I'm quite into hints of sexy dressing mm. like that with like a leather trouser and just like pop a blazer over mm. the top so it's just like a hint of skin going through I think it's like a nice date night outfit yeah um, or a night out outfit yeah. you know well you maybe don't want to get like obvious amounts of skin out yeah. but it's still hints at you don't have sexy. to fake tan but it's still quite sexy that is such a good point I haven't thought that there you so, go yeah. one for the small boob ladies though <laughs> not for not, not if you're yes, a bit more well endowed I mean I'm that. certainly in the itty bitty titty committee <laughs> I can see you in this. Thanks, really yeah, like. I might buy it. Um, <laughs> I'm obsessed with this head-to-toe look at Zara. Every so often so they cool. pull out these limited edition collections where everything just looks so expensive. Yeah, and it does look good. It does look good, doesn't it? The pleats on those trousers, the cut on mm. them is so elegant. Yeah. And I love a really wide leg trouser. That mm. with that cream knit, like it's just a really chic, you know, duo. Yeah, I feel like we've talked a few times about winter whites mm. selling on the sofa and blah, 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 blah. But like, I don't know, there's something about those like mixed textures. Yeah. And I don't know, the way they've shot it on the model is, is also particularly so good. Chic. And actually that would look very good with a colorful Isbon one. Oh, we're really thinking ahead now, we're aren't building we? Outfits. Tick, tick, tick. We're building outfits. We're building outfits. All right, that's it. That was fun. fun. That was fun. Always. Um, we will link everything in the notes below and we will see you soon. I always love doing those so much. Were there anything, any inspo that stood out for you? Any products, Laura? I'm into those leather dungarees. Oh, they would suit you so much. Yeah. I love a pair of dungarees, but at the moment I've kind of gone off mine. They feel a bit casual and I like the mm. idea of like elevating them and making them a bit smarter. I know. Anna, that we're going to have to fight over that coloured yeah, shearling that coat, that colourful aren't we? shearling is just like, ugh. Because you normally find the shearling ones that are just quite like neutral. that neutral yeah. colour, but I feel like that's a standout piece. And definitely. it's like an outfit. Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it? The whole thing. Yeah. So good. I mean, that was very good. I One thing that really stuck out for me watching that segment was the um, vintage Chanel backpack. And I loved it, but it also made me think of how much actually recently I've been looking at pre-loved mm -hmm. fashion, yes. which I never would have done before. I think yeah. it really it lends up such a big resurgence. Yeah, and also it. to make it mainstream that you can do it online. You don't have to go to these like secret boutiques and yeah. you used to have yeah, to. Yeah, that's true. I think like last week I went to a, one in Chelsea called Sign of the Times and got a brand new dress from the row that I saw a couple of seasons ago and loved with the tags on, oh, oh unbelievable. God. So actually that really stuck out for me. Did, did you get a good price difference on it? I mean, it was unbelievable. I think oh. I bought it for, I think it was 600 pounds. Okay. Which is down from 2,400. for the right. Yeah. 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 I mean, so it was wow. unbelievable. Well done. So yeah, Congrats. we loved, pre-loved. Mm -hmm. Pre-loved, <laughs> love it. Um, well, it is payday or yesterday, depending on when you get paid, but thank God it's payday, guys. Only one more between now and Christmas as I well. Know. Just not to stress That's anybody scary. else yeah. anymore. Um, what is on your payday wish list? Anything you've got your eye on, Anna? I've actually already splurged. So I did the wake mode um, times other stories, oh, yes. the collab. Cool. Yeah, so I got quite a few pieces. I got the kind of cut out skirt, the dress. So yeah, that was my, I had my eye on that. So cool. that white cut out dress is so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lovely. Fun. How are you going to be wearing it? Um, I think I'll probably match it with the blazer, you know, the backless blazer. Yes. Yeah, that's like, 
I'm waiting. Yeah. Christmas party. Yeah. Yeah. I said yeah. to you, yeah. you do trousers yeah. and blazers so well. Yeah. That's so, so true. That's my thing. But yeah, I'm looking forward to, to kind of wearing all my pieces. Okay, nice. Lovely. Holly, What's uh, mine's really boring, mm -hmm. but I love for this time of year cashmere. And Arket cashmere, I have to say, so is good. superior. It's so good. Okay. doesn't peel. It's very good. Um, and I have a couple of their um, sweaters, but they do matching trousers. Oh, and I've just seen they've done a new pair. And the wide leg. The wide leg. So, I would like so some of those you can wear year. them with so, heels. Like you can yes. wear them with heels, you can wear yeah. them with heel boots, you can dress them up, or just with like sneakers mm. or like yeah. slides or something. So I am going to indulge myself in those. Yes. To be super comfy. I feel like really that's like a life hack. And yeah. it's such a life it's hack. Like you think so I look comfy. Up, yeah, there you like, go. But I'm <laughs> yeah. so comfy. Exactly. Um, actually, another top tip. We are loving Bowdoin cashmere no. as well. Oh, oh really? Bowdoin cashmere. It is excellent. I feel like we don't want to share it too much. No, I, so I haven't bought my black jumper up. yet. No. Yeah. <laughs> It's, I know. I there know. was this jumper last year that was pink, and it was we so like, it. perfect it's jumper. So yeah. good. It's got it. a really chunky neck, amazing like mm. cuffs and balloons. Anyway, it's excellent. But that cardigan, I've worn every day. Yes, yeah. so good. Um, Laura, anything else on your new season wish list? I just feel like I've got a real lack of, and I don't like this phrase, but going out top. Um, yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like I, I like wearing trousers, but then how do I? Dress Elevating. up the top there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Anyway, Ulla Johnson, I don't know if you've seen it, I've just um, uh, launched one on net and it's just really gorgeous and kind of ruched and puff sleeves and square, square neck. Square neck, yeah. yeah it's just really, really nice. It's expensive, nice. Yeah. but I reckon for the next few that's, months yeah. it might get its wear. Exactly. And next year. Yeah, and next year, yeah, exactly. Class. Uh, all right, when it comes to stylish, subtle, and contemporary jewellery without a crazy price tag, there are a few brands who do it quite so well as Otium Book. So when the two founders invited me and our junior shopping editor Florence to their showroom for a trial, we couldn't resist. Hi guys. Hi. So where are we off to now? Florence and I are going to Otium Book, who are a really gorgeous contemporary British female founded jewellery brand that we've, if you've been watching this thing for a long time, you'll know that we're big fans. And we're gonna go and have a little try on sesh. Right, let's go. Let's go. solid gold. We launched our name bracelets, which I think is just one of the most important pieces that we have. Yeah. Um, we also have our tiny little diamond tags and our gold bands. Um, and we've gone into kind of like diamond I'm square, square hoops like this in different lengths, which are really sweet. So we have our little gold rings here. Yeah. These are all solid, most of which are diamond. They start around just over £100 mark. Yeah, they're super so they're really affordable. Yeah. Yeah. We don't jump onto fashion trends yeah. as such. We kind of avoid that. That's when people come back to us because they know you can wear it in the day and yeah. at night and in a few years' time. And it's so seasonless, mm. which is why we don't really go into sale because yeah. our pieces are very much kind of like to wear for the future. Yeah. Yeah. What's your best selling yeah. piece? I think it's between our hoops. Yeah. So we have our beautiful kind of everyday hoops that are just very hard not to like, I would yeah. say. Mm. We worked a lot with single earrings, yeah. so you can buy these all separately. We actually sell these as singles, but we also sell them as a three, Clever. which people are also buying into because it's a look. Are you finding a bigger arch in silver mm. colour kind of pieces now? Um, do you know what? We just launched kind of unisex. Basically, Paul Mescal was seen wearing our chain, yes. running past the years yes. when it was locked down. Okay. Yeah, silver's definitely having a moment. It's still not as popular as the gold. Sure. But we mix it. We take rid of our huggies. Yes. And then, so this is our nine carat. Again, we started the business launching Huggies. 50% of, of uh, our sales are really solid gold, and a lot of the time people are buying gold and make hoops together with the Huggies and Diamond Stunts. Um, I think our name bracelets have been just incredible yeah. for our business. Um, every single piece is obviously handmade, because there's a million names out there, so it takes six to eight weeks to make. It's been really exciting, there's always so much so many things going yeah. on in Paris this week to shoot uh, the Camilo Mark campaign, yeah, which is nice. Why do you always try and shoot women who are doing interesting things? Yeah. I mean, mainly because we love meeting them. But yeah, but also it just brings more storytelling to the whole brand. Yeah. Yeah. So 
So I guess we can start with the Chaos Collection. Mm -hmm. This is a recently launched collection. Again, talking about simplicity, we wanted to create everyday hoops that have a little bit different. So they have a slight contemporary twist on them. Oh, yeah, I love that. Yeah. Oh, that's from oh, They look really cool together, don't they? Yeah. And can people come and shop like this? Yeah. Like, can they come? Can they make an appointment? Can they yeah, come yeah, and just have a try? Yeah, make an appointment online. We have one of our team members giving yeah. you styling that's advice, so sizing advice. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, so cool. The guys this is the dangerous habit. I'm going to want to be serious now. So, so Florence, I'm going to start with the ears. Mm -hmm. um, there you go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, oh, I love that one. Yeah. So nice. Look at the mirror. I'm going to put an anklet on for us as well. Again, like very sophisticated. I quite like wearing them over socks. In yeah, the winter. Cool. Yeah. I feel like this is very Florence. So pretty. So there's a lot of um, men that come to us because now these days women are buying their own engagement ring. Yeah. So they'll buy pieces like what you have on, or, or yeah, this or these wet diamond wafers. I love that it looks really like expensive yes. and grown up, yes. but still like tough and cool. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for having us. I think I'm going to just sit there all day. I know. Thank you. Welcome back whenever you guys want. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. I can't tell you how much fun we had at OGMberg. I literally was, I've never been more tempted to yeah. walk away with some, with absolutely yeah, everything. Yes. And it suited yeah. you. Th thank like you. Like the lots of, I, yeah, I know, but it was almost it. like you needed it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you, you, you can't just have one, yeah, you, you can just have one. A hundred percent. Also, do you know that they sold it in a pack? Do you know what I mean? Like so in clever. a stack. It's, that's, I would actually quite like that for Christmas. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. Full. out there. Dripping. There we go. please. Okay, moving on. The Telegraph recently ran an article on the most stylish couples for every decade. I don't know quite how far back they went, but anyway, from the 70s, we've got Bianca and Mick Jagger, naturally. The 90s, uh, Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. One, I'd like to contest that, but we can come back to that. Um, <laughs> so I wanna know who are your most stylish couples of all time? Holly, you, you sort of got the brief. Yeah, I mean, I kind of <laughs> just saw the word stylish, and then when any when the word stylish comes up, it just has to be Hayley Bieber, right? Like, who's stylish She's in a couple? Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, as with real life, the men just, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> kidding. Uh, she's unbelievable. I just think she just nails it every time. And Justin, not so much, but <laughs> they stand together. She, she makes does. them look good. <laughs> and you know what? They just look amazing together. Yeah, with a different girl, he could he could look a bit like just awful. Yeah. That, just but awful. She would dress yeah. a, she would dress a bin bag up. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's amazing. So, so more for the Haley, it's Haley and Justin. Okay, okay. She brings them up. Um Anna, what about you? I think, oh, I'm tossing up, but I might go with Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union. Oh, cool, yeah. I feel like them separately, I wasn't really interested, but together I'm yeah. like, ooh, like yeah. they, they, yeah, they're quite a fierce, stylish couple. I yeah. love them. Yeah. Yeah, right. they're I a like good that. one. <laughs> Laura, what about you? I went for Olivia Palermo and yeah. That was yeah, my toss up. That was my, that yeah. was my toss up. Polished. Yeah, you no, know, I feel like yeah. they're timeless. Yeah. I just love them. I feel like when I think of stylish couples, and this is more about the way they look than about, the way they dress, but I, I can only have in my head, you know that picture where um, Gwyneth Paltrow and Brad Pitt are like identical twins? Oh yeah. Oh. And there's this whole thing that Brad Pitt kind of morphs into every yeah. movie dates and they literally look, but there's something so 90s about them and yeah. like their bikers yeah. and the skinny glasses and the short hair. I and really then, remember that image as well. Yeah. It's like so vivid in my mind. And that also <laughs> makes me think of Johnny Depp and Kate Moss. Oh my God, I mean, you so can't, good, the yeah. iconic. So iconic. Good. And then guys, Hugh Grant and Elizabeth Hurley. Yeah. This was a great topic. I, yeah. I mean, there, is some, there is some, some good ones out there. Although, you know what, someone we haven't meant, a couple we haven't mentioned that actually kind of scream out, Olivia Wilde and Harry Styles. Oh yeah. my God, I mean, great, what a great yeah. couple. She's obviously got a new stylist at the moment. Clearly, that very... dress for the, that, you know, the, the nickel dress. Oh, yes, Did we? Yes, it's the one that Polly talked oh about. Oh my God, Star yes, Watch. on their Star Watch, yes. Yes, mega, Nailing mega. it, and then let's face it, Harry is just, Amazing. He, I think he's great style. He's probably the best dressed man yeah. around at the moment. He yeah. Has to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Um, all right. Thank you, everybody. Now it is time for a peek at the behind the scenes of a very anticipated shoot. Possibly the most stylish pregnant lady ever. She likes his very own Lou Huff. So we are here in St. James's this morning to do our second pregnancy shoot for the parenting edition and we have our very own Lou Huff which is really exciting we're giving the readers what they want we're going to do like a very editorial vibe in around St James Palace 
Why don't you say? I know, it's so nice. What? I know, cute, isn't it? Love it. Literally, I don't even lose like people with them. So what's up first? This. Great. So I am wearing a frame X Ritz cap, which has been long on my list for a long time. Um, a coat from weekday, a sweatshirt from weekday, t-shirts and stories, River Island pregnancy jeans. This is the only pregnancy piece that I own. Give you a sneak peek of how unattractive they are, but unbelievably comfortable. And I guess I'm this. And this is probably of all the looks that I'm wearing today, the one that is like most reflective of my pre-pregnancy style. It's been a really hard journey, I'm not gonna lie, I think, because your body is constantly changing. And for me, I was always looking at things that would give me a waist or give me some sort of definition around my waist, and obviously now I couldn't be further from that. So I think you need to try on a few, few things, I think, and see what makes you feel comfortable. I actually think things that are tighter, where previously I would never have worn like, a bodycon dress, actually almost like enhancing the bump, I think, is kind of the best thing to do. So I've got five looks today to show you, and hopefully there's kind of a little bit of everything. Yeah. Do you wear sunnies or no? No, not with cap. Me too. Yeah. Sunnies and Where cap is, she? is very... <laughs> Maybe open your coat a little bit so we can see a bit more of the... You don't need to necessarily buy maternity ish for jeans. There are maternity jeans, but she's making her wardrobe work for her with her changing body. And she just looks really comfortable and timeless. I love it. Uh, yeah, that's nice when you're looking around. Maybe let's do the walking with a different look. Maybe it's kicking, so obviously into that. So we are working out what to do next. Um, Lou sent me these pictures yesterday. We're Brainstorming um, outfits. This is my fave. Which is number one. Yes, one. Very tight thing to have a bump. See, I never, I actually never did. Do not. I couldn't. I you couldn't wear tight things. I liked it to skin okay. rather than to yeah. cling. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah. I haven't actually worn this. Oh, wait, it's naked. Yeah, it's naked. Black. But I'll wear it. Okay. This is from Sir. The label. They do amazing knitted dresses. It's an Australian brand and it was like a saviour in the summer because it's backless, it means there's room for it to kind of expand the shirt yeah. the front. <laughs> I was going to put the new pair of socks on. Very tonal, they're so good. Yeah. I, so I need to put another order through. These ones are good because they're not as chunky. Even there's quite cool with the yeah, black just... windows. Right. But do you think right. again it's the wall you're going to go to creep? Try it. Mo doesn't like railing. Oh, no. like, like, I don't like grass. Okay, quite interesting. It's my favourite of all the looks. I love tonal dressing anyway, but I love the way she's kind of made it comfort, but still looks smart. It's worked so nicely for work and for the weekend. So mm. chic. So cute. So cute, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. It was so nice. It's just, I don't know what the song is. I don't know. So cute. Cute. <laughs> I love them. They look amazing. Mo's obviously uber pro. The light's amazing. We really lucked out with the weather. Are those the stories ones from the shoot? Yeah. Oh my god, I love it. We have to get riding it. Yes. I'm going to say it. It's going to be a question, but I need to look. Be nice, eh? Yeah. Where's my riding whip? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you have what other jumpers? Do you have a blazer? No, that might look a bit dress on. I think the boots are what's making it horsey. Oh, well, I've got my Chanel's. Ah! Slow backs. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Right, so I'm normally okay in the heels, but I think the, um, it is true that your ankles and your feet swell. So what feels comfy at the start of the day by the end of the day is definitely not. So in small bursts, Vanessa. Yes. What about in like through there? Yeah. You want to go to the pub? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what's this? What's this? She's a dancer. She won the German. What? Anyway, eight times it sounds better. Modern jazz. So like you know ballet with like a oh bit of a. Oh my love! Twist. I used to do jazz. Hey, okay. Um, yeah. Hello, Hello. 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 Hello.
Yeah. It could look like it could be Paris. So, so this is loose, this is smart. Yeah. Yeah. Evening, throwing an awesome love suit. And it's really, really helpful. It's like double love. Yeah, so it's good. The other two looks go well. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. This is from Ray, which is one of my favourite brands, but they typically yeah. come up really, really big, which is then perfect. One of the key things is you don't want to be investing too much in something that you're never, then never going to wear again. And for me, I normally invest in like well made, kind of contemporary designer pieces. So. I want, if I'm going to buy something, I want them to be able to wear it again. And this, because it's so roomy, it actually comes with a belt. So if I didn't have the belt, I would then like belt it and give it a bit more shape. But I think great. You think great? Yeah. Do you want to just see the back or no? Let's take one and then. Yeah, I think it might look over black compared to everything else. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Are you thinking black? Mm. The black's bigger. That's large. Just do both. Yeah. yeah, might as well, we're here. Yeah. We were recreating a shot that Lou really liked on my Instagram from Paris Fashion Week, where I shot somebody through the shoulders of two other people. Oh my god, so gorgeous. I feel like the grey is better. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's really nice. It's a good hair shot. Great hair shot. Can I ask you a question for the video? Yeah. What was your favourite look? Um, number one is definitely like the most like actually me. Most Lou. The last one is the fun like going out. This is from Navy Grey. They do the best in the world. And if you're looking for something cosy, the trousers are from course. And the shoes are lovely. Yeah, right there, right there. Woo! Fun! I love all the pictures. Hopefully the outfits still, well, to me, they still feel like really my style. And hopefully give the readers some inspo for how you can stay true to style. But I mean, she can actually, we're like, she can go now. Yeah, she can go. I, 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 it's I, I, she looks too good. Yeah. Off you go now. Have your baby. Yeah. On, but if that's what she looks like pregnant, I mean. I know, I know. She's just annoying. Um, you guys have obviously all dressed bumps in your time. What, is, what are your tips for looking good whilst pregnant, Anna? Do you know, I think it's comfort. I think, you know, classic pieces. I think. For me personally, stay away from trends because I just feel like the trend pieces get a bit confusing. Mm. But comfort and then classic pieces. Yeah. That's my go-to, really. Holly, do you agree? I mean, I don't think I can give any advice on this because <laughs> I did the whole, with each pregnancy, that whole like Kim Kardashian blow up like a balloon. I just oh. look like a giant <laughs> pin cushion. I don't believe I don't Oh, believe there are pictures. That. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's pictures. Um, and um, yeah, but I actually agree. Just keep it classic. Mm. Yeah. And actually, that's something that Lou said in her, you know, in... Um, the behind the scenes footage just keep it classic invest in pieces that you will wear again mm, yeah. don't invest a lot yeah. in pieces that are just really niche and like really yeah, trended, trended for yeah. the pregnancy and if you keep it classic you can't really go for yeah. too far wrong i guess it's difficult it like it works really well if your style is already quite yeah, classic it's just true. a shame if you have to kind of tone it, it down but yeah it's only a few months isn't yeah, it? it is but it is difficult mm. but, like your body changing and it changes so quickly so yeah. quickly so, and yeah, for month to month as well it. yeah right? exactly. like just when you think you've like nailed a pregnancy look you're like, oh no. Yeah. Now it's this good. is gone. Now that's I think gone. Accessories exactly. help though. Classic, yeah. but yeah. then accessorize that helps. Yeah. yeah, that's kind a really of. Good way of and yeah. Was, yeah, if you're into trousers, which I always wear, mostly wear trousers, mm. I, find, I found that quite difficult mm. because I'm not really a dress person. Mm. So suddenly having to. Yeah. Well, that's what Luna said. I'm, the set, I'm exactly the same, yeah. yeah. But I feel like you can do some colour as well. and You have yeah. to just, like, maybe it's not about fussy layers and prints, yeah. but I guess you yeah. just have to find a version of your own style that works. Yeah, yeah exactly. And it's temporary. Yeah, but also <laughs> I think there are so many more options out there. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so thanks, ladies. Uh, thank you so much to Holly, Laura, Anna, and, of course, Lou and Florence. Uh, we are back next week with another great show. There is fashion with a very cool husband and wife duo. Rachel Ingram is here to chat about her wardrobe essentials. We have an amazing interview with a really inspiring woman, a makeup palette roundup with Adiola, and lots more. In the meantime, we would love it if you could please comment below, give us a thumbs up, and do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Bye bye.